previously on Solar Pulse. In an attempt to get answers about his past, the Earth ended up unconscious and drifting across the Copper Belt, where Earthlings face the extreme cold and millions of asteroids. Meanwhile, Jupiter searches for Uranus, who is about to leave the Solar System. Earth! Hey, can you hear me? Uh, Theia. No, not Theia. I'm Metis, the fastest moon of the Solar System. Uh, uh, life. Uh, uh. Why? Oh gosh, the Earth is here! The Earth is here! And we are in the middle of the Kuiper Belt, so he's almost 40 astronomical units away from his orbit! Okay, Metis, calm down. It's only 8 billion lives on the line, plus all the animals and plants. Uh, all you need to do is... Whoa! by the minute. Oh yeah, that's because we are beginning to lose some of the residual heat in our atmosphere and oceans. I thought you were optimistic about our survival chances. I am. As long as we go underground, everything should be fine. Whoa! That was so epic! We gotta move. Kid, drop the backpack. Never! I'm carrying every video game console I own! Now! Okay! Goodbye, my loves! No! You owe me over $5,000 in gaming consoles, lady! You owe me your life, kid. I guess we're about even. Okay, that was a small one, Metis. What now? The Earth needs to return to his orbit, but there's no way I can do it alone! I need a planet, and I need one now! Stay here, okay, Earth? Just don't go anywhere. So, we're not going to play today? I'm afraid not, my dear Haumaeus. Our brave paladin, Sir Pluton, is a key part of this adventure, and we can't continue without... Speak of the devil. Pluto, you back! Dwarf Planet crew? Sorry I left like that, but but you won't believe the adventure I've had! You had an adventure? Uh-huh! I first met Uranus, who was bitter about something and was leaving the solar system. So I went to Jupiter so he could find him and stop him, and guess who was Jupiter's sidekick all the way to the Copper Belt? Wow, must have felt like being back in the glory days, huh? I mean, it was cool to be, you know, Included in all. Well, I'm happy you helped. Thanks, Sharon. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Pluton. <laughs> it's Pluto series. Pluton. <laughs> no, Pluto. P L U T O. Okay, uh, hold on. If you're in the middle of an adventure, why are you back? Well, Jupiter had to go along without me. Have a one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano with Uranus, you know? So, adventure over? Y yeah adventure uh, oh. Ah! Did you all hear that? It sounded like, like... Pluton! Pluto! Wait, well, I know who that is. Metis! the sun I found you! What's up? You got lost on your way back? No, I... Oh, hi everyone. Is this a new dwarf planet? <laughs> Wrong, Eris! That's Metis, the closest moon to Jupiter and also the fastest moon in the entire solar system. Wow, that is so cool. Anyways, I need your help. And how may our humble club provide assistance? I found the Earth half-frozen, unconscious, and lost in the Kuiper Belt! I was not expecting that. We interrupt this episode for an important announcement. Venus, join Patreon, or I'll be mad. What? Venus? Uh, okay, I'll take over. Ahem. <clears throat> the Solar Balls team is made up of dozens of people, from directors, animators, voice actors, and more who come from all over the world. And believe it or not, doing this is our job. How cool, right? 
The thing is, to make more videos which involve more and more new characters, we need to hire more people. And we can't do that without your support. So support, if you can. <laughs> but yeah, ever since we released our Patreon, we went from short videos to long epics like the Moon Revolution. And oh boy, with your help, you have no idea how many of our galactic ideas we'll be able to realize. So if you want videos one week early to be part of giveaways or to join an exclusive Patreon community on Discord with our director, then... Ugh. Consider supporting the Patreon. You're too nice, you know that? Yep, I do. Now back to the video. She was not kidding. Earth! Hey! Wake up, old buddy! Thea, are you th there? Oh no. This again. What? What's happening? So... Beerth kinda gets triggered when we mention Thea's name. Why? Who even is there? It's a long story. Everyone, on me! We need to take him back to his orbit. One, two... That barely did anything. No surprise here. All of our masses combined is barely 0.64% of the Earth's mass. What? Not even 1%? Size and mass are two very different things, Sharon. There's a very funny thing that happens with big celestial bodies. The more mass they have, the stronger their gravity gets, which causes compression, which increases the density in their center. Uh, in simple terms? Size is misleading. Big objects tend to have even bigger masses. Maki Maki. I appreciate the astronomy lesson, but we need to get the Earth out of here. We won't be able to move him 40 astronomical units back to his place on our own. We need a bigger planet to help. We need... Jupiter! Jupiter! Okay, guys. We'll need a team to search for Jupiter past the Capper Belt, and another to stay with the Earth. Well, I'll go, of course. Me too. Me three. And me four. Finally, an adventure outside the Kyber Belt on a mission to save billions. Oh, wait, but that means... Don't worry, Pluto. Sirius and I got this. Right? <laughs> He's just being funny. Pluto, are you coming or...? Metis, can you guide them to Jupiter? Absolutely, Mr. Pluto. Then I'm staying. As you like. Vamanos! Everything okay, Pluto? Y yeah everything's fine. <laughs> Hello! Thea! Anyone? Okay, Earth. This is a dream. You can't stay here forever, or you may drift out of your orbit. So, just wake up! <sighs> yep, that didn't work. Hello! Hello. Want to watch the next part? Eh? Well, join our Patreon to watch it and support the show.